Do you have back pain, issues around the shoulder blades, pelvis, tight body that doesn't respond well to stretching? Give this seven and a half minutes ago. Lay on your back, close your eyes and pay attention to the way that your body is resting on the ground. Pay attention just below the pelvis and low back, shoulder blades area. Don't worry if you can't define it in words, just pay attention softly. Lift your pelvis up and place your right hand on the ground below it and the left hand on top of it. Rest the body on top of the hands and gently let yourself lay down. Make sure it's pain free. You can adjust lifting the hands a bit higher or lower. As you lay down on top of your hands, gently lengthen through the right elbow and by doing so, gently rotate your body to the left, allowing the head to rotate to the left, the spine very softly to rotate to the left and the pelvis to rock to the left. Keep repeating this action and letting go of it, rotating the whole body as if you want to look to the left and then letting the body rock back to face the ceiling. Keep doing it in as soft a way as possible. Try to observe any kind of tensions, any kind of effort and letting go of it and by melting that tension you'll be able to get a bigger range perhaps or an easier range within the same size of movement that you had before. Now repeat the same through the left elbow. Lengthening through that elbow and allowing the body to gently rock, rolling into the right. The body stays heavy on the ground, the head gently rolls, the spine rolls and the pelvic rolls. The legs are free to move as they wish, avoid any aches or pains, especially in the shoulders. If you need, adjust the hand positions. Keep repeating the action, keeping a serene face. Keep observing the tensions and letting them go. This is essential for you to get the best results from this. Keep repeating the action and allowing the body to rock back. Keep the breath fluid without forcing it or trying to direct it in any specific way. As you repeat the action, improve it by decreasing the effort. Now take your hands out, lay on the ground again, close your eyes and pay attention to any differences that you might be feeling in the way that the body is resting on the ground. Observe in the low back, pelvis, shoulder blades area. Try to appreciate any change. Now lift the pelvis up, place the left hand first, the right hand on top of it and rest the pelvis on top of the hands, adjust gently and this time start to do the motion right and left, lengthening through the right elbow, rocking the body, rolling it gently to the left side and then lengthening through the left elbow and rolling everything to the right. Keep the body very soft and keep the motion as fluid as possible side to side without any hard edges, without any aches or pains. Keep all of the rib cage as soft as possible. Try to observe any tensions around in the front or in the back, around the shoulder blades, around the pelvis. Keep the legs resting on the ground heavy. Even the head when it's rolled side to side, keep it heavy on the ground. Do not try to lift it in order to rotate it, but gently allow it to roll. You can allow the breath to come out of you as you roll to the side, as it would naturally happen, but don't try to specifically associate the breath with the motion itself. You can also do it opposite or in any other comfortable way. What is most important is that you keep yourself as soft as possible and achieve the motion with minimal effort. The shoulders might be swaying gently as well, the, the, the connections between the shoulder blades, etc. Let the hands out again and observe how the body is resting now on the ground. There might be even further changes. Try to observe where and in which way. And how does it feel to you? Does it feel good or not? Now lift the pelvis again, place the right hand and on top of it the left hand again. Rest the pelvis, adjust yourself gently. And this time, as you lengthen through the right elbow and the body rotates to the left, roll your head to the right and vice versa. As you lengthen through the left elbow and the spine rolls to the right, make sure the head this time dissociates and rolls to the other side. This might be a bit tricky, so you can pause at the end of each rep until you get the right coordination. Try to minimize the effort if it came back 
and gently this dissociative motion between the head movement and the pelvic movement and spine that is articulating everything in between will help you unlock even further blockades that are in the body. We're all built from all kinds of protective layers that happen because of emotional things, because of movement habits or lack of movement predominantly as well. This protective layer is very hard to melt as it is habitual. The pain that induced it might have been long gone, long in the past, but we are also fortifying those protective layers just by our habits. That's why it's so hard to get rid of them. And sometimes it's very difficult to do with big frame stretches and big strength movements. These are more popular these days and these little motions that we're trying to do here are very different in essence and might produce much better results. We'll see. You can do the motion a bit quicker or a bit slower. Now as you lengthen through the right elbow, pause at the end. So your pelvis is rolled to the left and roll, roll your head left and right, left and right. Try to get a feel for even more blockades that are formed in this fashion. And again, roll through the left elbow, lengthening, rolling the pelvis to the right and the head right and left, right and left. Try to see if you can find even more blockades that are popping out in this way. Maybe it's around the chest or spine. Take your hands out and again, lay on the ground, eyes closed, try to observe any changes that are manifesting. How do you feel? How does the pelvis feel on the ground? How's the chest resting on the ground? It's essential that we learn to differentiate and become aware of any changes that are forming. That way we can keep them later and longer. Now roll slowly up and try to observe how does it feel to stand up. This process is meaningless all alone, but as it joins a bigger practice, we can really start to unlock things, free up more movement and stay healthy for longer. You can slowly shift weight side to side or even walk to notice the differences. If you need more information about such processes and how to integrate them, please email us at info at share this and enjoy.